This short video shows how to use the Keel Influence Tool to take a Keel policy created with the Keel Toolkit using the Keel Dynamic Graphical Language and to create a simpler influence diagram that shows how the inputs to the policy influence the results or outputs. A rendering of Keel source code, the Keel Dynamic Graphical Language, can also be called an influence diagram. But it is an advanced influence diagram because it not only shows how the information objects influence one another, but it exposes exactly how that influence is exerted. And it is interactive so the user can see explicitly how information propagates through the policy. There may be times when a higher level view is desired. And this is the purpose of the Keel Influence Tool. First, the Keel Toolkit and the dynamic graphical language. I am opening a previously created Keel model that defines a force continuum policy. This may appear complex to the uninitiated, but with minimal experience it is relatively easy to understand and manipulate. Now I am switching to the Keel Influence tool. I am opening the same Keel project that defines the force continuum policy. The influence diagram is created from the dependencies in the Keel design, with the inputs on the left and the outputs on the right. Green balls indicate inputs to the system. Larger green balls are the primary inputs. Smaller green balls indicate inputs that are designated as configuration or tuning inputs. Red balls indicate outputs that the user wants to expose to his or her system. These may define control signals or pieces of weighted information that may be used in other parts of the system to make decisions. Gray balls are internal information fusion points. While some attempt has been made to position the balls on the canvas, the user can drag them around to highlight specific points of interest. There may be other times when some balls lay on top of other balls, so repositioning them may be appropriate. Each ball has a title that was assigned in the Keel Toolkit during policy development. When the user moves the mouse over a ball, the title is displayed. Alternatively, the user can turn on or off all of the titles. Perhaps the user will want to create the titles using an external graphics package. A function is provided to copy the screen. It can be pasted into Word or any other package that allows images to be pasted into it. Here I am showing the influence diagram pasted into a Word document and then making a PDF document from Word using Acrobat. Keel Influence does not make any changes to the original Keel design from the Keel Toolkit. In summary, Keel Influence is a tool that creates an influence diagram that may be of value to an audience that is not educated in the Keel language, but still wants to have a higher level view of how information items are combined to make decisions or exert control.